It's the greatest rush, the chaos and cacophony of an online raid. But there's a certain serenity in all that excitement, the thrill of standing solo against a whole group, knowing that your success relies on your actions alone. The slightest misstep can cause your downfall and the unraveling of even the most well-calculated plan. It's certainly a way to stack the odds firmly against yourself, but I like that. I wouldn't have it any other way. And today, steely-eyed, I stared down these unlikely chances without blinking. But I'll explain all that. My journey began with some rather bizarre hijinks. New server. Oh. And that's when I saw it. I spawned in solo onto the server with nothing to my name. I headed inland and found an odd base. Hey, how you throwing? Hey! There's no... It's unlocked. That was a trap. You... <laughs> you moron, I dodged it! How about this? You give me an AK and I won't raid you. Bro, what are you even doing in there, man? After some aggressive banter with the owner of this low IQ trap base, I wandered around a bit more, then soon saw a base with some ladders leading to an open upstairs window. The issue is there's, these are probably, there's probably a TC in here. Hold. Let's go TC hunting. Welcome. Big! Oh? Wait, this base had likely just been raided. There were still broken loot boxes despawning on the ground. Bro, there was a raid here. Like... Drip or drown, my god. I scooped up everything left behind. There was a lot of assorted low-tier loot. Guys, this is a little bit zany. And I don't think but soon enough, I heard approaching footsteps. Action is coming. Hey, bro, what's going on? What's the big idea? Yo, I'm just trying to get some loot. I mean, yeah. I'm trying to escape with loot. I didn't Wrong. take everything. There's still a lot in here. Do you have building privilege? No. You said it in a sussy way. Oh, you're trying to be a bit, little bit naughty. You tried to pull a fast one. I don't think so, buddy. After the negotiations broke down, I fled with all the loot I'd grabbed and ran to the nearby bandit camp to recycle. Hello, hello. Nah. Oh, here it is. Oh my god, that's actually nuts. As the sun was setting, I left the bandit camp behind and went to travel to a secluded forest area between multiple monuments where I could set up a base. Well, that was not what I meant to do. Now, as some of you may know, I've released music in the past. And before we continue, and while I build the bass, I wanted to tell you guys that I just released my first album. I put a lot of work into writing and recording it, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I put a link to it in the description, so it would mean a lot to me if you guys checked it out. I think it turned out really well. But our story continues, and with my tool cupboard placed and locked, I moved out to survey my new neighborhood. I don't know about this bass, dude. It's just a cube. Please be stone. Hey. Bad doggy. That is a C4. That is two C4. That is three C4. That is a good board. I finished upgrading my humble abode with stone and then ran back to the raid I'd been at just a few minutes prior. Goblin gaming. But I was not alone in this objective. Major bag alert. Major bag alert. Is there loot in there, my guy? Hello. Nothing personal. What? Nothing personal, bro. Nothing personal. Oh, no, no. Help me. All right, I'll help you, Rochelle. Bro, can you please stand back. Oh, it's, it's... Okay, okay, okay. Oh. He's dead. <laughs> he just killed himself. Interesting. Oh! It's me, it's me! It's me, it's me! <laughs> this player was trying to pull a fast one on me. I'm security. What? Go, go! Security! Security! Go. How about you secure these nuts? Why you shoot me, bro? Why you shoot me then throw a yeah. grenade? Yes, yes. You shoot me, throw a grenade, and say. No. Why? Because you shoot at me, bro. What language do you speak? Hablo español. 
Bro, I feel a bit. What are you doing, bro? Why are you doing this? This dude is so sus. Bro, you had a bit of a cheeky little. Ah, that would have been a headshot. 99. Provide your blicky. That dude was very. What is going on today, dude? Another gun on the ground. Today was turning into quite the bizarre day. <laughs> I then returned home, rather bewildered by that encounter at the raid. I actually had a good squatting session. We get to the gains, my guy. Moments later, I heard distant explosions. Real quick, and then we're gonna go check out those bills. All right, let's roll. I think it's like over there. This might be... Oh. Hold. That is a weird base. Could have been a desk pop inside their base. I took my one higher tier gun in a bid to turn it into much more. So, but I'm telling you, you know, maybe you want to talk on Discord or something. My guy, I can't. You're going to get shot by your shotgun traps. Talk to literally anybody in the <laughs> <laughs> Raiders had been distracted speaking with the base owner, and there was tons of loot in here. In full panic mode, I scooped up all I could. Hello? Ah! I just want my base back, man. I don't really care if the cake I got. What do I do? Boy, please. I don't know if they can seal. I just need to go back really fast. Racing home on my horse, I quickly banked and then went right back to see if I could double dip. Welcome. Man. Hey, I'll, gi I'll give your base back. I just want to get loot. I give him his base back. I just loot as much as I can. What is this, dude? Hey, bro! I unlocked the tool cupboard and gave it back to the owner. A major come up for me and a base back for this player. Win win. Well, unless you were one of the raiders. It's unlocked! And just as I was leaving, things picked right back up. Another raid not far from here. <laughs> Go take that raid, too. How were that? Why did they not see it? I quickly upgraded and banked, and then went to investigate this other raid. If this is those guys again, I'm, I'm about to get even more rich. And this time I'm blickied up. Well, I became rather wealthy rather fast. I think these guys are on a raiding spree, maybe. I approached a large base in a clearing roughly where I'd heard the explosions. Okay. The raiders were in there right now with a mini heli. <laughs> they just fumbled a bag. This is a bit of a palaver. God damn it. I hadn't tracked the raiders correctly and they had slipped out. Well, I next started back home to craft ladders so that I could access the raid. That's a chunk. What is that? You know, we'll just do this, we'll send it once. As I got back, it appeared that I was not alone in this endeavor. Oh, someone was a bit of a There was still a ton of loot in here from the raid, but I had a suspicion that a rat was lurking. Surprise! Oh, no! After being ambushed, I re-geared at home as dawn was breaking. I then rode back to the raid to see if I could collect anything left behind. Oh, well, that's huge. He's gone. After a relatively successful cleanup mission, I returned home and learned multiple useful blueprints. Let's go turn our goods into different goods. I next did another recycle mission and learned even more blueprints. I now had quite a few that I could put to use. Back at home, a few moments later, I upgraded. Ooh, it's clipping. I've never seen that. Love it. You know what books I really like? 
Sherlock Holmes. Over the night time, I then went on an expedition to go mine stone so that I could honeycomb the base. This is pretty chonky with the terms of loot now. While out farming, I noticed a base with all sorts of obscenities written on the side. I went to check it out. I just rate these guys right now. Don't do it, Piggy. This foolish player had left their walls the wrong way round and thus vulnerable to an eco raid. They have a wrong way round door. Airdrop? Ooh, that was close. For now, I returned home and honeycombed my humble abode. We are building a delight. You know what I could do? Shop front here. Garage here. I slapped on garage doors and armored my core. My base was now quite secure. You look in there, you... That's like the... You sure you want to raid this? And I was ready to eco-raid that base nearby with the sign covered in slurs. Ooh! Indiana Jones with the hat. I was gonna use jackhammers to break through the soft side walls, as well as place a workbench nearby so that I could conveniently refill the jackhammers. I have a feeling this is a troll, but they could just be tremendously stupid. I say we send it. Those elegant. Oh my god! Oh my <gasps> he just killed that deer. Bro, nature, man. Nature. Doggy, if you come over here, you're, you're done, buddy. After some time breaking through the walls, I was in. Oh! I grabbed a shotgun with incendiary shells to finish the job. Bye-bye. My first raid of the day, and it had been unexpectedly profitable. That was juiced, actually. I needed metal. We beat racism. We won. We single-handedly defeated the CEO of racism. My appetite was growing now for a big raid, solo with rockets and C4. I was still a long way off, but it was coming. I put some of the resources to use and got back to farming. It was time to begin collecting sulfur. I knew that I would want explosives to raid soon enough, so getting my sulfur smelting operation underway was now critical. Just got raided, I think. Oh. oh my god. And it was getting quite late in the evening, so I set out to go treasure hunting for decayed or raided bases, an endeavor that soon bore fruit in the form of a C4 in a decayed oh base's god. chest. Oh! I ran around some more, got into a few more shenanigans, and then logged off for the night. When I awoke the next day, a new little adventure was waiting for me. Eight hours later. I... Who the hell are you? What's going on here? This dude in a tree. Do I kill him? I feel like I just let him do his thing. He's not hurting anybody. He's just in the tree. I was wandering around by base moments later and found an interesting character. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you got any sulfur? How you doing, Jeff? Hey, yeah, I... you need some sulfur, Jeff. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, I got you, man. Hey, I got you. Going? We'll grab this man the sulfur. We don't need it anyways. We just started. We hey. just started. How you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. What do you need? Ah, oh, man, we're just uh, looking for some meat. Seen any hogs around here? I got a one big hog right here. A lot of meat. Where'd you get all the meat? <laughs> hey, how you doing? The sulfur. Hey, you got... Bro, <laughs> you got 186 All sulfur. The sulfur. Determined to help this rather off-kilter individual succeed in their goal of locating some meat, we set off together on our journey. Wonderful day out here. Hey, beautiful, beautiful. It's a wonderful day, bro. Hey, shut the hell up. <laughs> hey, we got some corn. Let's have some corn. Get the corn. Hey. Holy shit. <laughs> Seeing another player enter their base, we went to go survey their home. Give us some meat! Come monster. Come monster, give us the goddamn meat. We're not gonna wait all day. Hey, get out of here, give us some meat. I'm drowning. 
I don't like your attitude. Assigning my new comrades the task of locking down this player's roof, I went home to get something that would make very short work of these wooden tiles. Okay, last chance to give us meat. Let's take the Welcome meat. Welcome back. Alright, we're taking the meat. All we needed was the meat. We're coming in now. We're coming for the meat! Get him, boys! <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> oh, shit! He respawned! Hey. Yes. Give us some meat. They got a lot of meat! Get the meats from the box, boys! They got human meat! They got pig meat! This was a naughty little raid. The front is the meat. This raid had attracted other bottom feeders to the area. Big guy. Worth. Bro. Bro. Okay. Come at me. He came at me. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Stop, bro. <laughs> Appreciate you helping with the meat, man. After extracting the meat from this base and with an actual surprising amount of loot, I said goodbye to my new friends for now. I took the meat by force. Back at home, I next consolidated all my components and went to the bandit camp to recycle. A pig and a deer are fighting. Alright, well that was a bit anticlimactic. Let's hit the antlers for the best meat. I wonder if you could eat, like, deep-fried antlers. How deeply would you need to fry an antler before it would be edible? In the history of gaming. Can you f eat fingernail meat? Stop it. Yo, bro. Hello? Uh, Yo, wait, you wanna be friends, dog? Wait, I need to talk to you about something. Wait, no, wait. Let's talk about something. Okay, or just run away. I'm gonna give you free loot. He had sussy vibes. He had nefarious goals. Inside base, a few moments later, I heard the sound of the attack helicopter. So I grabbed the AK and went to take it down. I could fight it right here. That might actually be easier, no joke. Ah, the trees. It's gonna rock it. I'm pinned down! I died to the attack helicopters incendiary rockets. I hope I'm not looted. That would be kind of sucky, dude. As I returned, my meat-seeking friends had arrived. Did you guys loot me? No, where was your shit? Right here. Oh, man. Someone else got what? it. We didn't hear anybody else over here. I need someone... you taking heavy? Yeah, I need somewhere to take it. Yeah, you almost had it. I armed up my carnivorous compatriots with some guns, and we went to go finish off the helicopter. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Might come back to rocket. Quite a bit. I hit it. I hit it pretty good. I got it. Nice job, guys. Is it in bandit? That would be sucky. We'd done it. The helicopter was down. We waited at the crates as day broke, waiting for them to open. There were other players here. Oh man, dude, like, that's... I'd done very badly in that fight. I'd lost the heli loot as well as my kit. Disheartened, I then spent some time at base organizing and rearming before I headed back out to do a loot run at the dome. The real villain is whoever took my freaking AK Bolty and then just vanished.
Hey, what's up? Yo, yo, yo. We died, man. We're down bad, bro. I parted ways with my friends to go to Dome. Surrender your loot. Give loot. Don't kill me, please. Okay. Okay, take this. Can I loot this? What? A crate just... Yes, loot all. After an odd little encounter on one of the silos, I noticed a crate had just spawned at the top of the dome. And then things heated up. Bruh. I walk with this, maybe. Fleeing the scene of the fight, I then made an interesting realization. Yeah, this makes up for the heli. Wait! This is my AK from before. When I died to the heli. If we just quick bang. I banked, then wandered around some more. I met some rather strange players on my journeys. I want to talk to you. What's up, bro? What do you have? I have, uh, D. What do you have? <laughs> How much do you have? Two. Give me one. No. This is business! I also fought over and claimed an airdrop. On God, bro got the boogie board. Alright, let's put these goods away. My explosives box was also coming together well. Then moments later, I once again heard the telltale whir of the attack helicopter patrolling the landscape. But this time, someone else was fighting it. I had a chance at redemption. Helicopter! Oh shit, it's almost dead, bro! Oh, can I pull it over here? I need to pull it. Move up a little bit. Dispatch, we're going down. Oh, there Welcome we go. back. The attack helicopter had gone down in the distance. I approached with a murderous gleam in my eyes. Yoink. Please. The crates were mediocre thus far. Jackpot. The final crate had been C4 and rockets. I don't know where to no! We do a little yoinking! I fled the area as a battle was breaking out behind me. You know, welcome. As we got out of there, we threaded that needle. I kind of look drippy in these this though. <laughs> Turned home to bank my extra gear and explosives. My raiding tools were growing by the hour. Four C4, four satchels, a few rockets. I'm looking at my pixels right now, guys. I then observed the den of iniquity that was the bandit camp, as well as the dead-eyed, debaucherous gamblers that frequented it. Hey, you won! It's just dead inside. Pulling the lever. <laughs> this city's afraid of me. I've seen its true face. <laughs> I recycled a bit and also had some frightening moments. Boomers are cozy people. It was destroying the. Ah! Oh my lord! And this server continued to put some very interesting people in my way as well. A paddle man! Hello! This guy doesn't know anything. This is an actual NPC. Are you an NPC? They say Daedra coming from the oil rig. As night fell a bit later, I ran to an airdrop and began reflecting about what kind of raid I wanted to do. I'm like too well equipped for a small raid and too poorly equipped for a big raid. Nope, back up. Uh, you can take the rest. I felt it was a tiny bit sussy. After giving the remnants of the airdrop to a passing naked, I went to return home. 
I kind of like having a reason to raid a base. Like if someone's online, I walk by and they say, Hey, screw you, buddy! And I'm like, I'll be back! I'll be back. Now, I was relaxing in base a few minutes later when I heard something very unexpected. Old. An MLRS rocket strike was going down not too far away. This likely meant that a base had taken severe damage from this airstrike hail of missiles. Well, we got some sulfur cooking at home, which is nice. Oh, yeah. I suspected that this mini-heli was the raiders who were rocketing. I ran to where they had just been coming from. Oh, damn. I found a very strange base. I had a hunch that the raiders likely hadn't had quite enough to complete the raid here on this base, so they'd flown home to get more booms. What in God's name is this? We just need to lurk. Wait for them to come back, kill them, yoink their boom, finish the raid, take their mini-heli, leave, get happily married, two kids, white picket fence, um... Discord in the marriage. Divorce. She gets the kids. I move to the Philippines. Have a mental breakdown. Steal the Declaration of Independence. The end. Now it looked like the raid had attracted other curious players as well. Hey! Hey! Stop that. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I told you not to do that and then you did it. Brother, can you revive me, please, brother? Please. Hey, Take Cornelius, all brother. I'll run, bro. Please. I think the Raiders coming back. You wanna? You I'll wanna... work for you. I'll work for you. I formed a makeshift alliance with this other player here. I need an intern. There's a Raider who's gonna come back here. Again. What should I call you? You call me Monkey. Okay, I'll call you Monkey. If you can somehow boost me into that corner, look at this door. He came back. A Raider was back. Time to fight. I rotated around, hoping to outflank my opponent. Ooh, I get him here. Oh, he's lit. How are you alive? Are you serious, dude? <sighs> he must have seen me. I respawned a few moments later at the close bag I'd placed. Let's -a go! After looting up my body, I crept back to the raid. Double fire arrow, I actually have a shot at this. There was a new door on the front. The raider had likely finished off the old door while I was dead. Bro, this little naked over there has binoculars on just looking at this. <laughs> Cornelius! Monkey, it's me! I knew that after I had killed you. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. You, it was spooky. Monkey and I reunited after that jump scare and then began formulating a plan. It's my only hit, bro. I can't lose this, man. You wanna make a team? Those people aren't my team, they're just my lines. There's a naked over here in the woods, heads up. It's not, I, don't, I don't know what he's planning. I've been watching you. I, I ain't doing nothing. I'm, okay. I'm literally just watching it. Not wanting to say my strategy out loud because of the raider inside, I wrote Monkey a note. I geared up at base with guns, then brought two satchels and a large chunk of explosive ammo. There was a mini heli just sitting here, but I didn't have any low grade to fly it. I raced back to the counter raid and wasted no time blasting the door. This player inside was very well armed, popping off a grenade launcher. This was a tricky fight. I had to play this right. He placed another door. I have enough for that. Big dead. He's tied behind the double door. I grabbed a bunch of armor.
dead. I knew it was funny. This base was loaded. All right, let's loot. Let's loot up. Take everything you can. I scurried away with a bunch of loot. Rest is you, man. Yeah, a bunch of guns, rockets. These additional rockets would help with the surely imminent solo raid. I'm glad I brought sort of overkill booms, though. After banking, I ran back with low grade to check if the mini heli was still there. Heat of the moment, that's a toughie, especially. Yeah, it would have been the not the middle. It's been a while since I've I returned to the raid and Monkey was there with a few of his allies. He closed the door. Okay. It's low still. Now the raider had closed the door again, so we broke right through. Yeah, just take this. Oh. oh. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Alright, boys, loot up. After grabbing some loot, it was now getting very dark and rainy. Enemies were circling. Got him, got him, got him. <laughs> hey, do you have Balti? <laughs> Bro, stun torch! Is he picking you up? This situation was very spooky. Getting the hell out of here. Back on the heli, I flew home. Oh, I didn't get the bolty. I got another LR, a fresher LR. That's big. I can't see anything. 4X on A! Welcome back. Yeah, I might need additional box space here soon enough. I'm go back. Bolty won't really help me right now. Oh, uh, where did I park? I then returned to the raid on the mini heli one more time to see if there were any scraps left to pick over. It always reminds me of Minecraft when I'm flying around like that. <laughs> this got picked through at this point. I saw the passive player that had been watching us raid through binoculars earlier. <laughs> this guy's still here! Yeah, there's two guys that just went in there. Right here, you want to ride? I don't know if they're your buddies or not. Over here, you're following my voice. Hey, uh, you need a base? Because you could take that as a base. Uh, I'm, I'm just observing, trying to learn how to play it. This seemed like a new player. It was cool to show them some of the higher end things I had now reached on this server. I've never flew one of these before. These are pretty cool. It's... Well, look at that. Sunrise. Ooh, ooh, oh, that was nice. nice. Returning home, I gave them a kit to start along with some tools. I next went to paradrop him where he'd been planning to build. Yeah, nice. around D10 would be good. My plan soon ran into a snag. Oh, oh. No! Oh, God. I was like, what are we doing? I then said goodbye to my new friend and wished him well. I gotta run. GG. Oh, you're good, bro. I'll run into you again, man. I also said farewell to the impromptu team of players I'd grouped up with for that counter raid. I was now fully solo once more. Let's go get bricked up. No cap. On God. And I had a lot of explosives at hand after all my adventures thus far. So I set out on the landscape to survey for potential raids. I wanted to find the right base. <laughs> I got the, the, the peace flick. Find my gun. See, I don't have any chance of raiding something like that. I wanted to find the right base. You either have that, or you have a teeny tiny base. Is that a horsey? That is a horsey. Now, something like this? A base that was a suitable size. Interesting. Sorry. A player from that base's roof had fired off a shot at me. Are you now, buddy? I circled back around. Not want this smoke, my boy. Now they were on their roof with a rifle. This base was active and looking for a fight. I am gonna raid this guy. As I rode home, I considered potential raiding strategies. I mean, I could raid the bottom door, see what it opens up. So. I then did some crafting, converting all the remaining gunpowder and sulfur into rockets. It's two rockets and then like three explo ammo or something, right? But it was almost night, so I bided my time inside my dark home. Then, as dawn was breaking, I gathered all the explosives and went to war. Everything I'd gathered on this entire journey was now on the line. All my explosives versus this base. I was very nervous. It was all or nothing.
I had just under a dozen rockets, four C4, and a stack of explosive ammo. If I played this right, I might have just enough to get everything in their base. But in a solo online raid like this, even a single misstep would be my downfall. Roger. We're breaching the perimeter. Stand by. Please, dude. I can't... Let's do this. I was into a second floor loot room, but there were footsteps outside. Counter Raiders, are there players that lived here? It didn't matter, I needed to keep blasting. Freezy, freezy! What? I don't know what's in here. Is this the drop down? Yeah, cause that's roof. Lobbed rockets into the drop down. It was likely just a couple doors now. Is that. Clear! Go, go, go! The owners were dead and on a bag timer. Now to lock this down. Okay, we're through. This base was chock full of loot. I destroyed the sleeping bags with the tools at my disposal. Hello. One of the owners had spawned and thanked me for the raid. He acknowledged that I had full sent this as a solo. I respected the fact that this one group member appreciated the online raid and was not salty or mad. GG. Ooh! Ooh, I'm shaking, gamers. I'm hanging out for a minute. No rush at all. <laughs> that had been quite the rush during the raid. I went to the roof to clear the area. The base was still not fully secure. No! <laughs> not the horsey. Let's get some outer doors on this ASAP. I kind of went demon mode there for a minute. This base was stacked, boys. I finished securing the base with my garage doors. Now some other members of this group were still lingering and had some accusations to levy at me. Nice cheeks, dude. Bruh. <laughs> what? What do I want to- I learned some blueprints, reflected on the loot gains, and then once night fell, I went to make the run home. From having nothing on this server to slamming a group space with rockets and C4 while they were online to fight. This was truly a solo saga for the ages. But when I got home, there was someone I did not expect that greeted me at the door. All right. Hello. Hello there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go listen to my new songs that I just released, and let me know what you think of them. Making music has been something I've wanted to do more for a long time, so it would mean a lot if you checked them out. As always, I'm live streaming on my Twitch, and go check out my socials and my thumbnail artist. This has been your friend Wellen, at the end of a solo tale that was truly memorable. I'll see you next yeah. time. Yeah. I said I'll be feeling great tomorrow's another day. Wishing that someone would throw a lifeline. God in my 